Hi, this is Gautam. For today's episode, we're going to look at this novel, The Circle by Dave Eggers. If you're interested in dystopian fiction, do look at the description for the playlist. Now, this book was published in the year 2013 and this dystopian fiction hit me differently because 10 years down the line, we are in 2022 and uh, I was kind of afraid that several of the prophecies which were part of this novel are actually becoming reality. The story is about a 24-year-old female techie, May Holland, who lands a job in a powerful technological company, in fact the most powerful technological company in the Silicon Valley of California. The company's name is The Circle. As you can see clearly from the logo, right, it's about connections, connecting people, you know, it's also the leading search engine. You know, the first few weeks of May Holland's job in this technical company, this technological giant, is not so dramatic. But as the weeks pass by, you clearly see the agenda of the company taking over our protagonist. You know, instead of having a normal 9 to 5 job, even though that is the prescribed time of work, she begins to spend more and more time on the desk. And instead of meeting her parents over the weekend, which is a two to three hour drive, she begins to spend more and more time in her campus. So the so-called work-life balance kind of merges together and her life is encased inside work. Now, this is not a typical novel about a techie losing, losing work-life balance and is completely encased in work, always thinking about innovation, creating new mobile applications, you know, creating new devices and all that. This is much more, you know, this is much more about the drama behind rather than the technology concept. Now, let me try to give two to three instances how the company is trying to innovate. For example, they are introducing a program where you can have or you can have, you can promote the usage of cameras for live streaming. You know, at the, I know at the, at the outset, it seems very, very simple, but more individuals, uh, you know, volunteer for this process and they install cameras in several public places and several, you know, uh, important natural tourist locations. But later, the same program becomes uh, one important aspect where it takes a political motive, where it said that, you know, you can, uh, you know, wear a necklace around, necklace, and then uh, you, you can actually live stream your entire life. And through this, you can actually promote more and more transparency specifically for legislators. So one senator takes up this process and because of peer pressure, slowly legislators and parliamentarians are sucked into this process because if one individual does not participate in this process of being open throughout the entire day, being transparent throughout the entire day, then the question is what exactly is the politician trying to hide? So in one way or the other, the politicians are brought inside the social media company's web, you can use that terminology, and that is pretty much works not just as a metaphor but technically it is true now let's talk about the solution provided by the company to prevent or control uh, child trafficking they are talking about uh, you know the solution is simple uh, chips which are not embedded not just in your tissues but in your bones so 24 7 you know where the children are and there is absolutely no possibility that the chip can be physically removed from the child as narrated through one fictional episode which happens in the country of denmark now again, if you think deeply, if a chip is embedded in an individual's bone, then the individual can be monitored till his death, maybe he's 85, 90 years old, the chip is going to be there. Not just this, this goes into questions on how if a person becomes more and more transparent and if the person knows that you know he or she is being watched by, happens to our protagonist, watched by cameras all the time, that there are thousands of viewers who are constantly on your live stream, who know what exactly you're doing, then your behavior naturally changes. Instead of picking out, picking up a burger, then maybe you will naturally go for a more nutritious food. So this particular social media company begins to promote the propaganda that having secrecy is completely bad, that privacy is completely antisocial. And these are themes which might seem to be fictional, but if you read more and more of this particular novel, you will read a point that you're not technically talking about a dystopian fiction, but actually our current world. Let's take three to four scenarios. For example, the constant need that you need to know, you need to notice the notifications and
and then respond immediately. And the fact that we have more and more Instagram influencers today, and let me tell you this, if you're watching this video, video, video on Instagram or YouTube, of course, accidentally, then there is no further meta moments technically. Because what I'm essentially doing is uh, sharing something about a book which we have written and that is technically about, that is the theme which the book talks about. So there is a constant need to share things online that you try to project a happier version of yourself even though most of your 24-7 life which you live is boring and is really not that interesting. So the constant need to share online, that is one more theme which is actually explored. And the third important thing is the concept of privacy being a threat to society itself. That if a person uses in or incognito is definitely antisocial and is involved in criminal or you know definitely some sort of wrong activity. So those are major themes explored in that book. And uh, there were certain parts which were in the book which was definitely terrifying. Now it's not that the book is not without flaws. You know, uh, with, with every single innovation provided by the company as a solution to day-to-day -to -day problems, you naturally feel that, you know, it's, it, the story begins to drag after certain, you know, beyond a certain point of time. But that is definitely excusable uh, since the author is kind of a visionary, uh, kind of predicting what could happen in the future. And uh, post-2022, post, you know, in 2050 and 2070, this situation is only going to get more intense and maybe we might move towards a world which is envisioned in this novel, The Circle. So, I do not know what exactly to say because if I say that uh, if you like the video, do like, comment and subscribe, then the novel has actually come true. That's it for now.